Hello, I'm Barbara Levin, Executive Director of NF Mid-Atlantic. In anticipation of our January 30, 2014 webinar, How Does It Feel to Look Different? We've been exploring the concept of image in our Western society. People who have the genetic disorder neurofibromatosis, which is a common and often disfiguring condition that can cause tumors to grow anywhere on the body, spend a good deal of, of their collective lives considering what is beautiful and the concept of self-esteem. It is indeed a pleasure to speak with Reggie Bibbs, who is a tireless advocate for people with neurofibromatosis. Welcome, Reggie. I am really honored that you could join us today. Well, well thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm just happy to be here and hopefully say something that will help someone else that has you have you have helped countless people already, so I can't imagine this wouldn't happen. Yes. So let's get right to it. Do you feel right. you, you different? I I have always felt that I look different, and growing up, I knew I was different. Um, I noticed when I couldn't wear shoes that everyone else mm. was wearing. I want to know why my footprints look different when we used to walk in the water and make trails with our feet. I want to know why. So it, it was hard growing up knowing that I was different. Mm. So you, was that the first time you had an awareness that you looked different from other people your age when you noticed your footprint? <laughs> well, um, I, I first noticed when I would have to go to the doctor a lot. I first noticed when my eye was different from my brother's eye, my sister's eye. I just knew that I didn't look like they looked. Mm. How, how do you feel it's affected your life? Um, well, it now my life is different, but before it has really affected my life. Mm. tremendously. I didn't want to go places mm. um, that my brothers and sisters would go. I just wanted to stay inside. Um, it was it was it was tough for me. Oh I imagine social isolation is awful. Yes, it was. Have you have you ever tried to change your appearance? Um, well I've had surgery but the surgery wasn't to try to make myself look better or anything. It was decisions made when I was a lot younger uh, for me. And it was because just to help uh, relieve some of the pressure from my eye and mm. from my hip. So decisions like that were really made before I even could say whether I wanted to have surgery or not. But it was just to help uh, with swelling and with um, the extra tissue, things like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe my mom or anything like that wanted me to have surgery to try to make me look better. Have you, so can I assume you've accepted your difference? I have accepted my difference. I now look in the mirror and I say, I love Reggie. I love who I am, and I accept myself. And when you keep saying that to yourself, you know, it will make you a better person. If we keep talking about what a bad day we have and how I don't like this about myself, it, we can't feel better about ourselves by talking down to ourselves and by saying what makes us feel bad. So we have to turn that around and talk about what makes us feel better. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't imagine you looking better. To me, you're, you're quite beautiful and, and what a wonderful spirit. I, yeah. You're very inspiring. Well, thank you. And, and I, I love what I do and it seemed like that I could never do enough to satisfy myself. I want to keep doing and doing and doing to try to make other people happy, like the way I want to feel. So I am working hard every day 
And if I see someone, whether they have NF or not, and if it's words that I can say to someone, I'm more than happy to, to say it. Well, you've made a lot of people with NF happy. You've made me happy today. And well, thank you. And you will continue because we hope that our audience can join us because Reggie will be joining us at our January 30th, 2014. I'm having trouble with the new year. 2014 yes. webinar, How Does It Feel to Look Different? So join Reggie and join others. And, yes. and Reggie, thank you. My, uh, my heart is very full that you, are, that you joined us today and you're going to join us. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. I'm so happy to, to, to do it.